Have you ever wondered how UDOT can locate assets and data along any given route at any mileage point in Utah? UDOT's Linear Referencing System, or the LRS, makes this possible. The LRS is the backbone of UDOT's geographic and spatial data. It consists of state roads, interstates, U.S. routes, and federal aid roads. You can use the LRS to pinpoint the mileage location of things like intersections, lanes, and medians, or the annual average daily traffic and crash rates for any stretch of road. Here's how it works. UDOT Geographic Information System, or GIS analysts, use roadway center lines from Utah's Automated Geographic Reference Center, or the AGRC. Analysts align the street lines over a recent aerial photo and make sure the lines fall within the edges of the pavement. The analysts then use known asset locations, like structures and intersections collected by a field inventory manager, which are easy to identify on an aerial photo. The analyst is able to use GIS tools to calibrate the lines and give them a measure. This calibrated line is known as a route and is able to provide mileage values at any given point. Analysts can then plot roadway features on the LRS that have a known route and mile point value. The LRS is created with the goal of having all features fall within 50 feet of their actual location. In this same way, UDOT can then create linear events such as project boundaries. As you can see, UDOT uses the LRS more than you might think and to accomplish some pretty incredible things. The good news is, the LRS and its associated assets are available to you through several online tools, including three that you can find online at data.udot.utah.gov. UPlan allows users to build maps and visualize all areas of UDOT's spatial data. For example, not only could you use this tool to create a project map, you could also use it to identify pavement type and condition, see all above ground assets, and even figure how many access points will be affected within the boundaries of a project. Meanwhile, open data allows anyone to download and filter UDOT's spatial data through the search bar at the top of the web page. The linear bench shows cross-section comparisons of UDOT's data so you can see information like the number of bridges, the pavement condition, and the annual average daily traffic for any given section of road. So now that you have some background about UDOT's linear referencing system, visit data.udot.utah.gov to learn more and start using these important resources today.